There have been some interesting developments in the high end of the mobile cellular router market. We'll give you the details. Hi, I'm Chris with the Mobile Internet Resource Center here to give you some news on the higher end of the mo mobile router market. These are embedded cellular devices that would typically be used for connecting things like um, ranging from police cars to ambulances to mobile command centers to you know even ships, buses, and trains. Um, but a lot of uh, more demanding individual boaters and uh, RVers have also adopted some of these higher end devices and well they're going through some major migrations right now. It, some news, the two leaders in this market are Cradlepoint and Pepwave, or Peplink, and we've got updates from each of them. First off, Cradlepoint. So Cradlepoint makes the um, probably the most popular device for our our audience is the IBR 900 uh, mobile router and they are just now here in January 2019 bringing out a new version of this with a more advanced um, gigabit LTE modem. This is a category 18 modem um, capable of 1.2 gigabits per second theoretical max theoretical speeds um, download speeds very impressive modem and this modem is also equipped with a whole lot of um, just raw LTE band technology. So it supports T-Mobile's LTE band 71, it supports AT&T's FirstNet, that's LTE band 14, uh, it supports the CBRS bands which Verizon is just starting to experiment with and other carriers will be using, and basically everything that is you know, pretty much possible on cellular in the US market today in a pre-5G world. So it's a very, very advanced uh, um, you know, modem chipset. Now the this chipset is raising the price of the IBR 900 by about 150 bucks off the older models, which will still be around. So it's definitely worth investing in that. The IBR 900, the new gigabit LTE version, is 9.99 list price, and that is without any antennas or power supply. So you've got to tack on all that extras. Now speaking of antennas, part of how a gigabit modem achieves such potential raw potential theoretical speeds is by using four antennas, four cellular antennas. This version, this is Wi-Fi antennas and two cellular antennas, so the new version will have somehow squeezed in to here two more cellular antennas or you'll hook up an external uh, 4x4 MIMO on your roof. So a lot of antennas, a lot of complications there, and well, the antennas can be expensive. The first 4x4 roof-mounted MIMO antenna we've seen, the Panorama 9-in-1, is over $500. So keep that in mind if you're investing in technology like this. Now the IBR 900 is PepWave's uh, Cradle Point's most mainstream device, um, but they do have higher end ones if you want to have multiple modems and or uh, different sorts of configurations. So check the list of the devices that have been upgraded. Now, one other important thing to note as this is being launched as, even though this technology will work across all the carriers in the US, it is being launched as an AT&T exclusive, available immediately, but it will only work on AT&T's network through March, and then there will be a firmware update to enable other carriers. Now, other news on the high end is on the um, Peplink front. So Peplink manufactures the popular Pepwave line of routers, and while well, they have no updates on most of their product line, they're still running older Category 6, um, uh, LTE devices, LTE modems that are, you know, pretty much well, way out of date, way behind where Cradle Point's at. But what Pepwave does have, and they've just announced early January, is the new Max HD2 Dome. So this is pretty interesting because a, you know, the ideal way you would set up a, a cellular device is you want the, the modem and the antennas to be very, very close to each other, but you also want the antennas to be on the roof. So that means putting the modems on the roof, well that's not always practical. Um, what Pepwave is doing is they're now building a dome unit that contains two complete radios inside of it, so you can be connected to two cellular networks at once, um, up on the roof inside this dome that is then powered and connected via um, power over ethernet to an indoor unit. Now the indoor unit will actually let you have multiple SIM cards that you could switch between without having to crawl up onto your roof to change what your carrier is and uh, install new SIM cards. So it's a very 
interesting combination. Now this is starting off at the very high end of uh, Pepway's pricing. The dome is $34.99 and the inside sim selector which gives you eight sims to choose from is $14.99. So this is a pricey, pricey, pricey solution but it's kind of a glimpse as to what might be coming down the pike as far as uh, modems and antennas and everything up on the roof and the control box and your sims indoors. We'd like to see that become a more mainstream, more consumer friendly technology and we expect over the years it will. Particularly once 5G radios become important, um, you really do not have, um, you do not want any cable loss. So you want to have the modem and the antennas all in one unit and that means on the roof. So this might be a glimpse of things to come a few years down the road. So that's the update on the high end and um, definitely some fun stuff to watch. These videos are brought to you by our premium members, our mobile internet aficionados. They make it possible for us to track this news and create these videos. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, leave a comment, subscribe to our channel, or better yet, consider becoming a member yourself.